Today I will show you a romance and thriller movie from 2017, titled, You Get Me. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Tyler is a handsome young man who is a high school student and in a relationship with a beautiful girl named Allison. Usually, the only company Tyler has is that of his sister, Tiffany. Ever since Tyler and Tiffany started dating, Tyler has begun to have a fantastic life. They both have two friends, who are Lydia and Gil. The four of them are very close and often hang out at a restaurant where Tyler works as a waiter. They attended a party one night where Allison met Chase. Chase was one of her friends when she still lived in San Francisco. As Tyler tried to get close to Allison and Chase, Allison sent him to go and get her a drink. As Tyler was getting Allison the drink, Chase came over to meet him. He said he was surprised to see Allison all sobered up. Chase then told Tyler that Allison always sleeps around and is not a faithful woman. Tyler could not protest as Allison had never told him about her past. This got him angry and he went to the bathroom where he met a girl named Holly. That night, he fought with Allison, claiming she was keeping secrets from him and she called off their relationship. Disappointed, Tyler left the party and met the girl he had seen earlier, Holly. He went to me meet her and told her he had just broken up with his girlfriend. Holly rode Tyler around in her luxurious car, and took him to a nightclub. As they danced, Allison slipped a yellow pill into Tyler's mouth which he swallowed on her insistence. As the dancing continued, Tyler gradually lost grip of what was happening in his surroundings as it was the effect of the drugs Holly had given him. Holly took Tyler to her house, where he spent the night. The next morning, when Tyler woke up, he met Holly in the living room, and she told him about her family. Her father was dead and her stepmother traveled a lot, so she was always lonely. Tyler also told her a little about himself, and they started having fun in the spacious mansion. After a long while, they didn't realize when night came. Holly then asked Tyler to make love to her, and tempted by her beauty, Tyler did. After he had slept with her, Tyler realized that he needed to get home as his sister would be alone. He realized he had missed several calls from his mom and that Allison had messaged him to invite him to her house the next morning. Tyler went to meet Allison the next morning. She apologized for her behavior that night and Tyler too. She then told Tyler about her life in San Francisco, where her friends were bad and that made her do bad things. She revealed that it is the reason her family relocated, to make her stay away from bad friends. They forgave each other and promised not to hide things from each other. Tyler remembered that he slept with Holly but was afraid and couldn't tell Allison. The next day in school, Holly joined them as a new student and said her stepmother would stay in that place forever and take care of her, which made her come to school. She asked Tyler if he had told his girlfriend about them and he said no telling her not to make a scene out of it which Holly accepts to do. After class, as Tyler and the squad hung out in the cafeteria, Holly came over and introduced herself and said she wanted to be best friends with them. Tyler then went to meet Holly after school to break up with her. As soon as she saw him, she pulled him and started kissing him. Tyler however stopped her and told her what happened between them was a mistake, but Holly seemed to have fallen in love with him. This made Holly feel cheated and angry and she promised Tyler that he would regret what he did. As they hung out at Tyler's workplace the next day, Holly showed Allison the photo of a man whose face was invisible, which scared Tyler as he thought she would talk about their relationship, but she didn't. Gradually, Allison and Holly became closer. This made Tyler afraid that sooner or later, Holly was going to expose their secret to Allison. This made Tyler confess to his friend, Gil. Gil however said there was nothing wrong with what had happened and that it was Tyler's guilt that made him feel uneasy with Holly being their friend. One night, while Holly slept over at Allison's place, Allison told her she had never slept with Tyler. Tyler, however, wanted to tell Allison about what had happened between him and Holly but could not when he heard Holly was at Allison's house. While Allison slept, Holly secretly took some of Allison's properties, including a picture of her and Tyler. The next day, Holly went to Tyler's house and tried to seduce him, but he did not fall for it. Soon, Lydia started suspecting Holly, as she did not have any social media accounts. Holly looked at her and felt threatened, she planned to poison Lydia. However, when Tyler sees Holly's stepmother in the school, and when he approached her and introduced himself, she revealed how Holly had a mental disorder and needed to be taking drugs. Tyler then started thinking of how dangerous Holly could be. While they hung out at the cafeteria, Holly brought drinks that made Lydia have severe allergic reactions and she needed to be taken to the hospital accompanied by Allison. Tyler, however, suspected that Holly had poisoned the drink. Holly's obsession started becoming too much and this got her stepmother concerned as Holly was missing her therapy sessions and was not taking her medications. Sometime later, while at school Allison revealed to Tyler that Holly was pregnant and that she needed to be with her always to which Tyler agreed. 
Tyler was shocked and scared that it might have been the result of his one night stand with Holly. Allison supported Holly as a friend in need, and Allison told her about the man who got her pregnant, not wanting to take responsibility and how envious she was of Allison's relationship. One day, Holly went to Tyler's house to play with his sister. As soon as Tyler got home, he chased her away from the house. He told her that he can't support her and the baby and Holly said she only needs him and nothing else. This made Holly head to Allison's house and confess everything that happened between her and Tyler. She informed Allison that the man pictured in the restaurant the other day was Tyler and that she was pregnant for him. That same night, Tyler visited Lydia in the hospital and told her of his suspicions about Holly poisoning her drink. He then revealed his previous relationship with her to Lydia. Although Lydia was disappointed, she encouraged him to tell Allison the truth and he promised to do it. He then messaged Allison to meet him at the beach the next day. The two met the next day, and Tyler told Allison what had happened between him and Holly but it was too late as Allison already knew. She was angry at him that he kept such secret from her. He tried to explain, but she didn't listen and told him not to call her again. On his way home, he got a text from Holly telling him that they could now be together now that Allison has left him but replied never and did not respond to her remaining texts. When he went to school the next day, Holly came to tell him that something was going to happen him because he did not reply her texts. Almost immediately, he was called by the school admin, who told him that a student named Elizabeth Viola had accused him of violence. She had shown the teacher the evidence of the wounds inflicted on her by Tyler, and that led to Tyler's suspension from school for some days. After finding out that Holly's name was Elizabeth, Tyler searched for her and found an article about her attacking other students and how she had been put in a mental hospital for a while. He realized that the reason Lydia had not found Holly on social media was because Holly's name was Elizabeth. He realized that Holly was very dangerous. He messaged Holly and told her he knew about her previous history and she asked him if he knew what she was going to do next. Meanwhile, Holly kidnapped Allison and sent a picture of Allison unconscious to Tyler. Tyler then messaged Gil to help him save Allison, and they rushed to Holly's house. Allison woke up and found herself tied with ropes to a chair when Holly told her that she lied that she was pregnant because she wanted her to be angry at Tyler. Allison regretted not listening to Tyler that Holly was dangerous. Holly then killed her stepmother when she tried to rescue Allison and Tyler arrived. He grabbed a sharp weapon and then he saw Allison tied to the ceiling. He saved Allison, but as they were about to escape, Holly came out pointing a gun at them. Soon, Gil came, which surprised Holly and made her shoot Tyler. Allison grabbed the sharp weapon Tyler had held and stabbed Holly with it. As Tyler was dying, he claimed that love was blind and destructive, but he was happy to be with Allison. Somehow, Allison managed to survive, and she seduced the policeman beside her. The movie ended with a happy scene in which Tyler's sister Tiffany was celebrating her birthday with both Tyler and Allison in attendance. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.